Hello, hello. New Minimum 2 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon Survive Part 4. Where I, we're finally getting into some actual gameplay. Um, well, more gameplay outside of the visual novel aspect. We, we have exploration sections now, which is kind of cool. Um, okay, so to get to the map... World map. Alright, so... Already done that. I'm going back to the woods. Hey, there's Kaito. Has he found anything? Let's talk to Aoi first, though. You've been pale for a while now, Aoi. How are you holding up? She's like, bitch, I'm just white. <laughs> I'm just pale. I'm so pale. <laughs> well, if I'm being honest, it's taking all I've got to deal with this place. You shouldn't push yourself if you're scared, okay? Thank you, but our friends might be facing something even scarier, you know? Saki, Ryo, where are you? Our friends? You barely know them. Saki's from another school, I thought. Also, why are there so many non... like... And they introduced like 19 different characters that were like not a part of their school. I'm like, dude... Maybe that's just, like, how it's done? I don't know. Hi, right, Kaido. Hey, me, you. Where are you? Oh, Takuma. Have those guys found anything over there? Nothing yet. You found me, you? Obviously not, Takuma, you dumb brick. Nope. Jeez, where the hell is she? Saki and Ryo are with her for sure. Here, I'll join the search. That'd be great help. Thanks. I see your one earring. Are we gonna... Are we gonna have a moment together? Maybe. <laughs> okay, so... <sighs> Alright, back to the shrine then. I should check in with the others. Hey, Aoi came over here now. Okay, so Minoru has an update. Kaito, I'll talk with you. Damn it, Mia, where have you gone? Kaido's upset. It's understandable. His family is still missing. Okay. Saki, Ryo. Aoi's doing her best to scour the area. I should leave her to it. Okay, what about Shuji? What's he doing besides standing there staring at me? This is what I meant by everyone doing what they want. Saki and Ryo are no different. That's what causes trouble like this. We have rules for a reason, people. No one wander off on their own. Got it? You are not in control, Shuji. The, the sooner you understand that, the happier you're going to be during this story. Huh? What? What's in this picture? Yo, Takuma, you should take some pics around here too. Me? But why? My phone's picking up some weird stuff. Might be broken. Let's check yours. You sure your finger isn't in the shot? It ain't my finger. Something's like all fuzzy in my pics. Go on, take some. Doesn't sound like he's messing around. Guess I'll take a few test shots. As you play the game, you'll find sometimes you'll you will sometimes be able to find clues using the camera on your phone. A camera icon will appear in the top left of the screen when this is the case. You can take out your camera at any point while you're exploring. Access your camera with three. Your camera can sometimes reveal things that would otherwise be invisible. Try using it now. Oh. I thought I used it. Did my game, like, freak out? I think my game just froze. Oh, God, it finally worked. Oh, jeez. Whew. Okay, use the mouse to move the camera. If you notice any distortion while using your camera, try to focus on it to investigate. Hey, hold on, I'm going to take a picture of you. I can't, okay. Oh, well, so there's a distortion there. That's kind of cool, though. <gasps> Is that Gatsumon? Gatsumon. Or also Meteormon or Icemon or whatever. Ha, huh, nothing's there, but the camera definitely picked up something. Hmm, what's this? What is it, Minoru? Hey, you guys, there's a weird thingy over here. It's me. Hi. Weird thingy. 
Who knows what that could mean? What? Don't just go off on your own. Ugh, fine, we'll all go together. Good. That was a digi. That was a digimans right there. What in the world? Hey! Look at the size of this thing. Are these ruins? These are pretty old. Any idea what this is? Not a clue. Never heard of anything like this. It's because we're in the digital world now, I think. If it's like the Shrine Sacred Prohibited Space, I'd get it if no one talks about it. Or at least I wouldn't be surprised, but... Don't tell me Mia went in there. There's no way a girl would go into a place like this. That's where you're wrong. If it's her we're talking about, I guarantee she wouldn't suck. I bet Yusaki ran right in after her, huh? Uh, ooh, this and ah, that. That does seem to fit her M.O. You. Come on. What was I just talking about? Okay, you certainly have no jurisdiction over this man. Well, I mean, he's the same age as us, but you have no jurisdiction over him. He's not a part of our school. Don't go alone, Kaito. Hey, Kaito, don't go off on your own. I can't just wait around here. What if something happens to me, you? Then I'll join you. All right, guess we have no choice. Let's go, too. Psycho! Yoo-hoo! Real! Shuji don't care. He's not gonna say words. Nice skylight. There you are. What's up? You just ran off. Don't worry us like that. Oh, sorry. I don't believe it. Oh. Hey! Uh... Not Flame Dramon. That's not... Flame Mon? Flame Mon. I think it's just Flame Mon. Anyways, let's look at this wall. Look at this. A mural across the whole wall. This is really something else. Yeah, it is. Whoa, you're telling me. I feel like I could get swallowed up by it. Exactly, how do I explain it? There's just something divine about it. Something almost... digital. Maybe it wasn't danger or retribution that caused people to close off this area. They might have been trying to protect this sacred place. Hey, now is no time for gawking, or did you forget what we came here for? Right, right, right. Sorry, just got caught up in all this. He's right, we have better things to do right now. We have to find the others. Yeah, we have to look for Saki and the others. Huh? I hear footsteps by the entrance. Could it be the others? How much you want to bet that is the kid from the beginning who lost his sister? Well, who's that? Your guess is as good as mine. What are all of you doing here? Surely you know you can't be in here. Well, you see. That's our line, man. What are you doing here? Oh, no need to worry. My purpose here is far from nefarious. I'm a researcher of the Kemenogami faith, or Kemen Kemano Kemenogami faith, passed down in this region. The shrine is connected to said faith. I just got permission to investigate it. Researcher? Investigate? Are you a scholar of some sort? Indeed, I study ancient Japanese history, researching it for a university nearby. Then, uh, that makes you a professor. <laughs> I've been shunned from the scientific society. Ah, forget that last part. Well, you said it, though. So this is valuable enough to be worth researching, huh? What has brought all of you to a place like this? Do you see, sir? I'm gonna go look somewhere else. Nana Shuji, let's just let him do his own thing for now, yeah? I get why Kaido's feeling restless, but I'm really curious about this place. No idea if Saki and the others came here, but let's look around for some clues. We did not answer the old guy. Whatever. This shrine is pretty weird. Maybe I should talk to the professor or inspect the mural.
I... So nothing here. Alright, well I guess I'll talk to... Because it won't let me inspect a mural. Alright, well then let's talk to this guy. Have you all come here to study the Kenigami as well? Yes, we're on a school trip. But we actually came to look for some missing people. Our friends and that guy's sister. Yeah, he came to look for her. In this, the Kimonogami Shrine? I hope she hasn't been spirited away. Spirited away? Yeah, there's a legend about the Kimonogami passed down since ancient times, but it's more than a legend. Stories are true, you see. True, you say? Indeed, it was once custom to offer up local children to the beast gods as sacrifice. Oh my god. How awful. It was a desperate measure to ensure the harvest or perhaps to prevent disasters. Yet these children did not die. Supposedly, they were taken somewhere unharmed. So that's what you meant by spirited away. Yes. But the custom was lost to the ages, and this angered the ancient Kimonogami. Over time, such abductions were no longer a ritual sacrifice, but a curse or retribution. Many legends regarding such incidents have been passed down in this region. I place no faith in fairy tales, of course. There must be a scientific explanation. Some reason for the continuous disappearances since ancient times. I'm sure of it. I view this as a superstition or a mental block designed to escape from reality. He seems pretty worked up somehow. Is he mad or upset, maybe? I know you came looking for your friends, but I'm glad you could see these legendary ruins. Interest in historical origins is a wonderful thing indeed, so, and I support it wholeheartedly. And uh, thank you, sir. Or, uh, um, take a good look at this. Who knows? It may end up being of use to you all. Okay. Well, since you want me to take a good look at... Oh, the wall. Okay. That's Seedramon. Is that Metal Seedramon? Let's see. These are all drawings of Kimonogami. They come in all shapes and sizes, huh? Hey, why do you think there are... There are... Why do you think there are there so many... <laughs> Kimonogami in the first place? Do you have a hunch, sir? Indeed, there are several possible explanations for all this. The unique terrain could explain the frequent incidents. Weak footholds, sleeps, steep slopes, magnetic fields mess with sense of direction, and overgrowth in flora and fauna. Ah, like the red spider lilies, then. I believe there's something in the minerals around here that makes people lose their way. Okay. Creatures of the Kamenogami faith may have been altered somehow by this substance. I see, that would make sense. I don't think um, minerals is going to. Uh, I don't think minerals is going to make a flame man. It's uh, quite the stretch there, good sir. Discovery of these minerals has led to rapid development of this region in recent times. Sudden population boom would naturally increase the number of missing persons. Dwindling resources, depopulation, likely absconding in the night from such troubles. I suspect the recent landslides are a result of unchecked development since the Shawa era. Unraveling the issue piece by piece allows for a oh god, allows for a logical explanation of the legend. I just pull my phone out. <laughs> Unraveling the issues? No. At least that's what I think. Yes, learning from the past can help us in the present. Wow, thank you so much, Professor. What a wonderful and unexpected lesson we've learned here today. Shuji, why you gotta go and make me mad? <laughs> yeah, muchas gracias, muchas gracias, prof. Hey, show some respect. Nah. I still wanna see, can I, my camera be used for anything here? I'm gonna assume no. All right, let's talk. Let's chat, Prof. Uh, huh? What's going with what's what's with this wall? Is this writing or something? All 
Are these drawings or some kind of text? Yeah, something like that. There's all sorts of stuff on this crazy wall painting. Never seen anything like this. Hmm, something's written here. Maybe I can read it? Nope, not a word of it. This is just conjecture based on my investigations, but I think it says Agumon. As my research progressed, I learned that each of the kimonogami have their own names. Is that so? So there must be a bunch of those things running around. I don't love where the story's going, but let's see. What the heck was that? Is that Saki? Ooh, okay. It's you, Miyu. Was it? Did something happen? Some weird creep popped out of nowhere, so I took off. Oh no, I left Saki behind. That voice, Saki, came from outside near the shrine. Come on, let's go. Yeah! Whoa, what's with this fog? Yeah, man, there wasn't nothing like this when we came through earlier. If we go out in this now, we'll just be as lost as the others. What about Saki and that scream just now? Stay away from me. Oh. What the heck was that? Oh! Is she being attacked by something? You mean like a pervert? <laughs> a pervert on a mountain? Owie, perverts can be anywhere. <laughs> Maybe it's a boar or something. Yeah, I can hear growling, I think. Whoa, was it just me or did something light up over there? We should head towards her voice. Am I just playing tricks on me? I can barely see a thing around here. This fog is seriously weird, man. It bothers me too, but not as much as Saki's screams. Yeah, Owie. Voice of reason. Let's go. Something's here. Some kind of statue? No. No, that thing's moving. What in the world? That's impossible! Not in the digital world! That sound again. So this weird thing was making it? Yeek. Back off, you freak show. What is that? What's going on? I heard a bunch of screaming back there. Miyu, you were here the whole time. Kaito, why are you here? Saki, we're coming to help. We have been having a conversation from about 30 feet away from them, just yelling back and forth. No, come here and help. Ryo sucks. Saki is a good person. That creepy thing's looking this way. What should we do? It's not like we can just leave them alone, right? Even if she tells us to? This weird statue-like creature set its sights on the others. A creature? No. A monster. A digital monster. What are you waiting for? Get the hell over here already. Could that be one of the Kimonogami? No! How could that be? Professor, he followed us from the shrine? Duh, you guys screamed and ran away. We have to save those guys from this monster. I'm gonna get closer and talk. Let's try talking to it. Yeah, it could just be some kid pulling a prank. Hey, you there. Hold on, Suji. How heavy would a kid have to be to leave footprints that deep? Footprints? Look out, Shuji. Damn! It barely grazed me, and yet, what power? Are you alright? I'm so sorry, you saved me there. This is bad, let's get out of here. creature we've never seen before is coming right at us. What's going on? What a crazy situation we've gotten into. Why the heck is this happening? Yee. They love that. You okay, Aoi? Oh no, Aoi fell down and that rock monster is coming this way. Stop! Stay away! Alright, are we gonna fucking fight this thing now? I just... Can't let it hurt Aoi. Wah! That thing just sent me flying. Ah, jeez. Ow. Man, that thing's strong. Look, I got away with a, screw scra a few scratches after a tackle like that. The others. Hey, you guys okay? Kuma, are you alright? I'm sorry, this is all my fault. Everyone seems to be okay somehow. The fog has covered the entire area. There's red spider lilies at my feet. So creepy. Guys, you there? Is it only us that- No, shoot. She's also here. Huh? Oh, that's a lot of Gatsuman. Oh, 
that's hurt my eyeballs. When the heck did it corner them? This is bad. It's getting closer and closer. They're in for a world of hurt. Is there any way they can make a break for it? What? I'm feeling kind of dizzy. Am I going numb, or did I take a harder hit than I thought? Or is it... An earthquake at a time like this? Holy crap, the shaking's getting worse. Is everyone okay? Be careful, everyone. Move without paying attention and you'll... Did you move without paying attention? What is it, Shuji? What'll happen if I move without paying attention? Finish your statement! Oh. That'll do it. I tried taking a step forward and the ground crumbled underneath me. I plunged into a gaping hole that seemed to pull me in. I couldn't even tell what was happening to everyone else. Unchecked development, recent landslides, the professor word the professor's words are coming back to me. None of them make sense. None of them accounted for magic statue people. Oh, do we get another? Okay. Ugh, I am an Avagamon. Oh, he gets Almon? No, Falcomon. Oh, she gets Labramon. Is it Labramon? I think it's Labramon. Yeah! I like this. Oh, I like that Shuji gets Lotmon. I love Lotmon, dude. One of my top favorite Digimon. Saki gets Floramon. And he gets a uh, Kyubimon? No. Uh, uh, something with a K. Kunimon. Kaito gets... I like seeing Drachmon as a Digidestin partner. And Sukimon. Sukimon? Siakomon. That fits our aesthetic. Old man doesn't get a dig doesn't get a Digimon partner. Professor. He doesn't have a name! Okay. children. Oh, do we get names for them too? Miyuki and Haru. I mean, I guess they said their names. You know, I'm just happy that as much as I don't love that my partner's Agumon, I'm happy that we didn't get another Agumon slash Gabumon story shoved in our face. At least it's just one of them this time. Like, I love Gabumon. I'd rather have Gabumon than Agumon. But still. And no, it's not just because oh. where Gururumon looks like that. But it helps. <laughs> Am I safe? The adventure begins. I just got an achievement. The adventure begins. Four videos in, the adventure begins. Am I safe? Am I below the shrine? It looks like I got caught in a landslide or something. Oh, hey, everyone. Is everyone okay? Am I alone? Feels like I might be alone. Ouch, my head, it's pounding. Can't see anyone. Looks like they aren't here. Maybe I should take a look around. Can we take a look around? That's it, yeah, can we take a look around? All I can do is look around for now. All right, so overgrown spider lilies. Deep forest. Forest. Let's move the overgrown spider lilies. The ground's collapsed all around here, but none of my friends are around. I should check out other places. They are not here. What a relief. That means they weren't caught up in the landslide. I should check out. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, I took the other one. Okay. I don't see anyone here. Maybe I can find some trace of them in a different area. I should check out other places. Okay. I've been checking out all the other places. I can hear those sounds from before. Is it those stone monsters? I think so. Oh no, they're coming this way. I have to get the hell out of here. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay, I don't think they're following me. I made it back to the shrine somehow. No one's here. No one's here, not a single Boy! person. Minoru, Aoi, nobody. I was running from something that was chasing me, and so my first instinct, let's scream. Let's alert it to my location. Maybe I can get one of them on the phone. I'll call Minori. No service here. Damn, my phone's useless. Not exact. Oh, did something move just now? Zagomon. Is it that rock monster again? The sound disappeared. Doesn't look like it's trying to jump me, whatever it is. Carefully move closer. Not knowing what's coming this way freaks me out. I'll try moving closer. I'll do my best not to set this thing off. It's gone. Where in the world? Hey, some of the grass is moving over there, like something's in there. I can't see anything, but something's moving. There. Something's there, isn't it? This reminds me of the last time. Yes. Keep calm and wait. I could just see it all of a sudden. Maybe I should wait and see what happens. No good. I still can't see a thing. I don't have time to just hang around here anyway. Last time I saw something I couldn't see before I used... Uh, that's right, he picked up a presence with his phone camera. Why don't I take a picture? Koromon! Maybe that means it's not guaranteed I'm gonna get Agumon? What the heck was that just now? It was just a moment, but I definitely saw something. This will help me see it. Still, I don't know what I'll do if something attacks me again. Nothing will come of just sitting here. I'll look around with my phone to see what I find. Same bush as before? Hi. I do love Koromon, real talk. What the heck is that? Some kind of creature? Doesn't seem like that rock thing from before. Hope it's a bit friendlier. He said bye! Oh, it's gone? Don't tell me it plans to attack me from, to attack from the shadows somewhere. I'll survey other spots with my camera. Can we be friends already, Koromon? Jeez. Found it. That thing from before. It's right over there, no doubt about it. What should I do? It doesn't look hostile, but still. We're playing. Damn hide and go seek. Hide and go Koromon! I just have one other spot to look at. Right there. Ah! He's really cute. Okay. Oh my god, is this gonna be the first game to grow me attached to, like, Koromon slash Agumon? Let, let me find out. Because I'm just saying, if I ended up if I ended up finally falling in love with Agumon, merch-wise, I would have the time of my life. Whoa, it's closer now. It's a small head. Hi! Ah! It's like a baby. What is this thing? That's my line. Wait, you were... It talks? Back off, dang it! Never seen anything like this before. What the heck is it? Seriously, what's this thing's deal? I'm not a thing. I'm Koromon. I've been waiting for you, old buddy, old pal. 
Sorry, but that pal talk rubs me the wrong way. The name's Takuma, okay? Ooh, I'm I'm headstrong. Anyway, just back off for a sec, will ya? He ain't gonna do it. Takuma, that's your name. Nice to meet you, Takuma. That doesn't answer my question. You didn't ask him a question. No, more importantly, what do you mean you were waiting for me? Yeah, for ages. Like, such a long time, pal. Why? How? Well, it's easy, you see, uh... Hey, why was I waiting? What's with this thing? It understands me, but I couldn't call this a conversation. Anyway, it doesn't seem to be to mean me any harm, I think. You took the words right out of my mouth. At any rate, I see you're not human. That's what I am, a human. And a young one at that. He is very diplomatic, I like this. A young human. Never seen one before. Kinda weird looking, aren't you? Still, glad I got to meet ya. Mm -hmm. I've been craving something, you see. I've been waiting forever and ever. Craving? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm gonna eat you! Turns out, I'm dead. <laughs> Start of a horror game. Anyway, you're the one for me. It's like I've been waiting for you forever. Listen, you're cute, but I don't think we're there yet. What do you mean? I don't get it. Listen up. Uh, Koromon, was it? Stop treating me like some kid, alright? I'm already in junior high. What's a junior high? Basically means I'm an adult. Adults are smaller than I figured. Anyway, my point is I'm not a kid. Why not? You seem pretty childish to me. Why else would you get upset over every little thing? Shut up! I've had enough. Back up already. No. Takuma. First things first, I've got to shake off this weird critter somehow. I'll try and get away from the shrine. I don't want to! I want to talk to Koromon. We're gonna get jumped. Okay, I think I finally lost it. Still, what the heck was that thing? I've never seen anything like it. But the really weird thing is, I wasn't all that scared of it. I mean, it was so small. It talked like a kid. Plus, it was so buddy-buddy. Heck, the fact that it talked at all is weird enough on its own, right? Maybe I was sleepwalking or something? Hmm, maybe I should look around more. Alright, you know what? We've met Koromon. I'm gonna leave the video off here. We're going to move on to what I'm gonna assume is be the first fight. Uh, or the first real fight in part five. So, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe, like, and or comment. Also, feel free to check out my TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, which are all listed below. Beneath that, you are going to find um, a link to my inv uh, a link invite to my Discord channel. So feel free to hop on in and join the community. Uh, I love getting new members, and you can get real updates on uh, whenever I post and just other stuff. So feel free to join the two eight two. But um, anyways, thanks again everybody for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Come on, it's so cute. Gotta soften my heart. I'll tell you what.